Hello everyone, welcome to episode 8 of Let's Play Diablo. Sorry for spamming you with so many episodes in one day, but I did miss two days, so... Okay, there was a quest I wanted to show you, and I wanted to make sure I get it out of the way, lest I forget. And you see how the well is a tainted color? Well, let's talk to Pepin and see what he has to say about that. I'm glad I caught up to you in time. Our wells have become brackish and stagnant, and some of the townspeople have become ill drinking from them. Our reserves of fresh water are quickly running dry. I believe that there is a passage that leads to the springs that serve our town. Please find what has caused this calamity, or we all will surely perish. Well, that's not good. We definitely need to find uh, what's poisoning the water supply so that all these people, fine people, can continue to live their admittedly pretty shitty life because obviously their, their church has been desecrated and their demons running everywhere. Notice that the guy is not out here, so there's no butcher quest on this one. There's just the poisoned well, so... Go down to level two and go to the poisoned well, shall we? This is the other quest that I really wanted to show off. And this quest doesn't always happen. In fact, I had to say had to quit out of a, the game and start a new game several times before I got this quest to show up. Oh, and show this off. Griswold had some armor that I wanted. Studded leather armor of Zest. 17 armor plus 10 to durability. Also, I'm not wearing the crown anymore because it disappeared. It's the second time this game has done that to me. What the hell game? They keep getting unique items and they keep disappearing. Is it glitched or something? I don't know. But it worries me. Alright, level two. Treasure chest. Treasure chest. A lot of things to make dead. Die, all of you. Okay, got them all. Except for this last one. Let's see what those uh, books are that I picked up. Alright, I can use my book of Firebolt. And a magic axe. Nothing there. All skeletons must die. Robe. I don't want a robe. Dead, 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 dead. Got them all. Man, this thing is just all over the place. There's sarcophaguses and stuff. Burning dead. Oh, the hidden. The hidden have a tendency to just completely vanish and then reappear right in front of you. Hence the name, the hidden. That's what they do. But they do have a uh, very satisfying death animation with their head rolling off when you kill them. And they make this kind of squishy sound, too, when they die. Kind of similar to the Zerg when they die. Because remember a lot of people say, and the Zerg makes such a cool sound when they die, I'm always tempted to kill my own guys. 
I remember a lot of people used to say that back in the StarCraft 1 days. I don't know about StarCraft 2. I haven't played StarCraft 2. Which I guess is a little surprising considering how much I love StarCraft 1 and WarCraft 1, 2, and 3 and Diablo 1 and 2. So you think I would have been all over a new uh, Blizzard game. At the time, though, I did not have at the time I did not have a uh, pick up that falchion. At the time I did not have a computer that was really good uh, for PC gaming, so I didn't really PC game. All right, bring it, Dead Eye. Man, there's a lot of unique enemies on this level. There's usually not this many. Barrel burning dead, burning dead. I just want the gold. I don't need the saber. Let's go over here. I will take the potion of healing though, so I can heal myself without uh, using one of my belt items. Yay! I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far because this game's a lot of fun for me. So, much like Doom, I really, really enjoy playing this one. I'm thinking about um, doing some blind let's plays so I can knock out some of the uh, PS1 RPGs and other RPGs that I've never played. You guys, make sure you let me know what you would think of that. Would that be cool? No, not that. Character info. Put three into strength, so I'll have 50. One into vitality, one into dexterity. That increased my overall damage a little bit. Skeletons everywhere! Just me and everything I have made dead. Die, scavenger. Let's see, uh, let's go in here and find out what this book is. Probably something I can't use because I'm a warrior, but whatever. a charge bolt. Oh, I can use it. Let's learn another spell then, shall we? Falchion, Falchion. Alright, I'm going to come finish the level and I'm going to come back here because that is the entrance to the... Uh, The, uh, the place where we do the quest, Pepin, give, Pepin gives us, Pepin the healer, the tainted uh, water supply. And the tainted water supply area will give us a taste of some of the enemies that we'll come to face later on in the game. I still can't use a telekinesis book. Of 
course this doesn't double back around. Why would it? But yeah, that place will give us a taste of some of the enemies that we'll be facing later, namely the goat clans. You'll see what I mean when we get there. All right, free identify. Why didn't that identify? Town portal, town portal, town portal. Why did that not identify? I told it to identify. Damn game. Do what I tell you to. There's nothing over here. Let's backtrack, make sure we got everything. Got everything up there and over here. We did not. So let's go over here and kill everything that is still alive. Axe, book of charge, bolt. I'm sure I can't use it, but yeah, but look anyway. Small chest. Hidden. Quit shooting at me. You shall never shoot another arrow at anybody ever again. Welcome to die. On the PC version, after you kill one, it quits telling you the properties, like resist some resistances. Damn it, that keeps doing that. I must be doing something wrong. But it quits telling you some resistances and stuff like that. It just tells you how many of this type of enemy you've killed. But it doesn't keep track of it. Like, you start a new game and it doesn't keep track of how many you've killed in the other games. So, I don't really understand the point of it. I mean, maybe if it told you how many kill you killed total, like, oh, you've killed 500 zombies. But, every single time you start a new game, the numbers start at zero again. So, I'm like, what's the point? Last mistake you guys will ever make. Get gold, get gold. Nothing in that. Let's uh, break these barrels. Okay, that's the entire level. Let's go back to uh, the tainted water supply and go through that. After the tainted water supply, I'm sure I'll probably just meet you guys back on level... Four of the labyrinth which we should be ready for because we'll have done all the quests on levels one through three and level four will contain a quest no two quests i think that we have not done yet so you know Look forward to that. Got a couple more quests to take care of on level 4, and then we get a new environment. So this will finally quit being this repetitive after that point. So look forward to that as well. Let's uh, go down to another, another different new environment in the Dark Passage here. This is the uh, well. Where the town of Tristram gets all of its. <coughs> pardon me. Not so fresh, not so clean water. But we're going to fix that. Carver. Devilkin. Get your asses back here. 
Hey, we got new music too for this area. How do you like that? New look to it, new music, new everything. Nice little change of pace, right? I don't remember if this music is unique to this area of the game or not. Okay, here's our first uh, goat clan. This is the flesh clan. These are the easiest to kill of the bunch. And we will run into a lot more clans later. It's like flesh clan, stone clan, I don't remember what else. But they're all goat demons like that. And I guess it's just kind of expected that there would be goat demons in a game called Diablo, right? I love this uh, atmospheric guitar, by the way. I think it's really, really cool sounding. I love the music in this game in general. I think it's um, very, very atmospheric and well done and fits the mood of the overall mood of the game very very nicely okay, I think it's what one nope two enemies left Two. There's the last one. All right, let's go back to town and talk to Pepin. All right, let's go through here and we'll go talk to the healer. And he will heal us, and we will see what he says. And if he gives us an item, maybe. We don't know. Let's go ch Let's go find out. Oh, Pippin, let's talk to you, Pippin. Hey, healer. Pep and the healer. What's that you say? The mere presence of the demons has caused the water to become tainted? Oh, truly a great evil lurks beneath our town. But your perseverance and courage gives us hope. Please, take this ring. Perhaps it will aid you in the destruction of such vile creatures. And he gives us a ring. The Ring of Truth. Let's go identify this bad boy. Hello, my friend. Falchion. Jagged Falchion. Axe of Strength. Falchion. Ring of Truth. Let's see. Which do I get more? 34 to damage. Which do I get more damage out of? This, but just barely. Ring. 10 to all resistances, 10 to hit points. What am I wearing? 6 to magic, 7 to dexterity. I don't need the magic. But I do need the resistances. That's very nice. Wow, what can I do for you? You can buy, buy my items. 
And that's it for this episode of Let's Play Diablo. Thank you everybody for watching. Next time I will meet you on level 4 of the Labyrinth. And we will continue to play from there. Thanks everybody for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. That would be greatly appreciated. And we will talk to you guys next time here on Let's Play Diablo. Bye everybody.